experience. Super casual Trader Joe's haul starts now. Not fancy Trader Joe's haul, casual. What's up? Welcome back to another college week in my life vlog. 8 19 a.m. I woke up before my alarm this morning. That's when you know it's just gonna make a day. Like, I woke up in a pleasant mood, like the birds were chirping that kind of morning. It's gonna be a pretty packed day. I'm excited to take you guys along on another week. I'm so glad that you guys liked last week's vlog. You guys said it felt really real and you liked how I talked about my to do list and just kind of I don't know, everyone liked the vibe of it last week, so I'm gonna stick with those vibes this week. I washed my sheets last night, so I'm like, I love those nights. I just got an Apple Watch, I really love it more than I thought I would, which is, I'm ashamed to say. So this is the new guy, I got the Apple Watch Series 6, I got the gold one. I ordered online a white sport band and a gold one, that's I think like more of like a decorative one that I'll probably wear when I'm wearing like cuter outfits I guess. One of my favorite features is the walkie-talkie one. I've been like walkie-talking with my dad. It's the best thing ever. Whoa, garbage truck out there. I also did end up getting the cellular. Oh my gosh. I did end up getting cellular so I could go for walks without my phone and connect my AirPods to this. Um, and I also need to actually go connect my activity app or whatever. I just had breakfast and look at me with a watch on. Who is she? I'm trying to, oh, that was easy. I think I already just connected my AirPods to my Apple Watch so that when Delaney and I go for our walk, let's see if this works though. I think I can literally get podcasts on here. Guys, literally, these are all the podcasts I listen to. Please tell me Tori came out with a new one. Yes! I can hear it. Okay, that is so cool. Okay, glad that works. I just took a shower just to like kind of wake up. I didn't wash my hair because I'm going to spin later today. Big active day. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm wearing this turtleneck from Amazon. Sweatshirt from Mayfair Group. Leggings are from Set Active. And then I'm wearing these. These are like my walking shoes. Walking time. Your, your tracking device on, your fitness tracker. <clears throat> Should we do a little Power Rangers? Woo! Everyone feels really bad for our walking professor, Delaney. Trust me, we do too. We do too. But then someone was like, at least you told the other girl that you got. And yes, we told her. She was like, yeah, on the. She she's was on getting the same one too. Page. She's getting an Apple Watch too. So oh she's yeah. Left out. <laughs> we didn't update you guys yet. Delaney emailed her and she was like, oh thank God, like I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. So we're all good. Headed for our walk. Don't text. We're really good walkers. Alright you guys, we just made it to the Greenway, it's just a trail, I'm not going to bring my camera, but I'm trying to decide, I'm like trying to decide if I need this jacket or not. Alright, just finished, did a nice two mile situation, beautiful day, we walked around it like three times, so we're like, okay, kind of done, but good way to start the week, just got back, went for a tampon run, <laughs> you know what time it is, that's always fun. I have a call at 1.30, and then I'm recording on Kenzie's podcast, I Love You So Much, for the book club, like at the last 20 minutes, we talk about the book that she was reading with her podcast for that month, this month it was called Pretty Things by Janelle Brown, it was incredible, I'm so excited to talk to Kenzie about it, I love her, I was just listening to her podcast with Mariana Hewitt on my walk. I have Spin at Purevelo. It's a Grizz ride. I love Grizz music. I'm so excited. They're doing like themed rides all week. And then I'm going to pick Delaney up. We're going to go to Trader Joe's. So you guys will be getting at Trader Joe's haul later. Then I'll come back shower and then it's bachelor night. You might be wondering, why is Danielle wearing sunglasses? I was sitting here, I sit down to open my computer and I thought I was grabbing my blue light glasses and I just go, whoa. So, 
I think I do need my second cup of coffee. This is what I meant to grab for. A lot of people ask me about these, by the way. They are from Movement or MVMT. I love them. I have like five pairs of blue eye glasses and these I just seem to wear every day. So that's that on that. We'll go through my to-do list for the day. Whoa there, tiger. I have to do something for Strike Magazine, which I'm really excited about. It's a magazine that I'm involved with here at UGA. I'm one of the assistant stylists and it's so much fun and I love being a part of it. It lets me kind of get my creative juices flowing in a different way than I normally do like here on social media. I have to do Reading Circle 1, which is for my apparel, textile, and economics class. Uh, and I'm like the, the facilitator this week. And then next week our roles change. I want to check in to one of my classes because I just feel like I'm missing something. Do you guys ever do that where you're like, wait, I totally like haven't done anything with this class in a couple days. Let me check in. So I'm gonna check online to make sure I'm not missing anything and it is blurry. And then I have an assignment that I have to do for my creativity class with my partner. So I need to message her. And I just want to prep for the book club podcast with Kenzie, prep for my other call. And that's kind of, it's actually a lighter load today which i'm very excited oh i guess i need to upload my workout to my walking class class page just so i can keep track so i have 33 minutes down or 36 minutes down um and we have to get 150 minutes total unless we do it at a higher heart rate so i might not have to do 150 minutes which is high going to get a green smoothie yum All right, guys, just got back from my walk. I get a kale slam and I add a ginger shot and I do one third pineapple juice, two thirds of the multi green juice. If you guys are wondering, if you go to Arden's Garden, I was hashtag influenced by Brooke Michio. We were recording the podcast this weekend and she was telling me about these crest whitening emulsions. Instead of like using strips, you just like apply it to your teeth and keep it on for 30 minutes. It just sounds way more my vibe than, um, having to do the strips. So I'm really excited to try these out and I will keep you guys updated. And my white um, Apple Watch sports brand came in. So I think I'm gonna switch it up now because I just don't really wear pink a lot, but they only sold this gold color with the pink band, if that makes sense. Okay, yeah, this, this is good. This is good, I like it a lot. Another day, another soup. I'm heating up some Progresso soup right now. I think it's the chicken rotini one. And then I have a call and then a podcast recording with Kenzie right after, so. Woo woo. Maybe one day I'll actually make the soup myself, but for now, looks delish. Just got off my call, grabbed a kombucha from the fridge, about to hop on FaceTime with Kenzie, Kenzie Elizabeth, and we're recording for the book club. I've got my Kindle right here because I have a couple things highlighted. Yeah, that's so not fun. No, no, no. I think I wrote it down. There's something in the beginning where they talked about um, like their relationship and she was like talking about Lachlan, everything. And she goes, love can be anything you choose to wrap around the word as long as the two people involved agree upon the terms. All right, you guys just finished recording with Kenzie. We did a little book club action. It was actually really fun to talk about a book. I felt like I was in AP lit again. It was really fun. Um, but yeah, so that episode should probably already be up. Look at me getting, but I'm about to head to a spin class. It's Grizz themed Grizz versus some other artist that I can't think of the name right now, but I'm excited. Grizz is like very fun, happy music. I actually love working out to Grizz, so it works out perfectly. This sports bra is from Outdoor Voices. My leggings are from Set Active, and then I just switched into my TMs. I'm gonna bring a jacket or something because after that, I'm gonna grab Delaney, and we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and do a grocery run and do a grocery haul. So, who's excited? I know I am because I need food in my fridge. So, let's go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, that was so much fun. I think I can only ever work out to Grizz and Big Gigantic like ever again. Like that literally just got me so high if I was really feeling it. I sat sidebar like the one right next to the bike and I was just like, I was just grooving and bopping and all the things. Wow, that was like so much fun. That just put me in the best mood. I sweat a lot too and I, like I work out really hard but I don't always like drip for some TMI. I don't really know. I just like, many of you guys feel that way? They're like, Daniel, you don't sweat. I'm like, I swear I'm like working, okay? But, um, I sweat, 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 sweat. Isn't that like a, I was about to say, isn't that a vine? Isn't that a TikTok? Like, I wanna get my hair wet, wet, just wet. Or, I don't really know what that is, but I feel that. Anyways, I'm gonna go grab Delaney and we're gonna go to Trader Joe's, which is just gonna make this day 10 times better. 
I picked up a buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey. The We're line at... is not that long, so. Oh, there is one. Oh, I was manifesting no line, but we'll take a short There's line. There's only like two. That's fine. That's fine. We've got the grocery cart. We've meal prepped. We're doing chicken piccata. Bags. Broccoli. And Steak, rice, tacos. And tacos. Should we get one more? I feel like we always end up doing like a pasta for the fourth. Okay, okay. We can buy the- Do we still have bonza? We have bonza. That's healthy vibes. Yeah, see? Amazing. Alrighty. Land ho. Trader Joe. <laughs> this thing saves lives, you guys. Shout out Amazon grocery carts. They're underrated. All right, super casual Trader Joe's haul starts now. Not fancy Trader Joe's haul, casual. Um, don't go grocery shopping hungry. I got pita chips. I got the multi-grain pita chip because I got hummus and Delaney inspired me. She was eating hummus the other day. I need to get five, just let me know. Um, she was eating hummus the other day and I was like, wow. It's a good, it's a good one. So I got the Trader Joe's organic hummus. Obviously, I'm not gonna go into in depth for things we got for the meals. I just got broccoli, lettuce, um, tomatoes, random stuff that we need for our dinners that we're making. I'm gonna get back on, we'll hopefully get back on the yogurt in the morning grind because it's really delicious making yogurt parfait. So I got this Greek yogurt and then I got berries to go with it and some more granola. I feel like you've gotten these before. Oh. Breaded chicken just to have in the freezer. It's a good snack with some ketchup. Always like to be stocked up on black beans. Delaney and I have been on bagel grinds, so I think I got the same ones as you. We're just, yeah, she got the same ones. They're everything bagels. They're just so much more filling, we decided in the morning. So we're gonna like put them in the freezer and then thaw out as needed. And then I always try random different breads. So we're, today we're doing <laughs> seeded bread just for like sandwiches and stuff. I got eggs, did you get eggs? I got, I got eggs. eggs. This is the granola I really like for my yogurt parfaits. There it's, Delicious. Um, I love these. These are a great snack as well. I just realized I didn't have any snack. Bananas, Delaney's favorite. <laughs> and then I got all kinds of berries for my parfait. And then just to eat, we have raspberries, blueberries. There is so much food on this counter. I am so hungry too. Um, and blackberries. And then last bag, I got things of bean and rice burritos. These are so good, so filling. They're great for lunch or if you're just having a chill dinner. We got ground turkey for our taco night and then shaved steak. If you ever want to make steak and you're just like nervous to cook it, this is the easiest thing for us. Like it is, it cooks so fast and it's just, you don't have to be like, did I cook it all the way? Like, we don't want to think about that. I got four kombuchas. Three of them are the Trilogy flavor, and one is the Ginger Aid. I was just feeling, feeling dip. Got more of the sparkling lime waters to put in our little can dispenser that we have. Oh my god, I almost got it. Look, show them. It's spinach artichoke dip, and you keep it in the freezer, so right? So good, yes. Keep it's... it in the freezer so it stays good for a while. And chips. And we have this once, and it was delicious. It is so good. We watch it, like we watched football and ate it on a Sunday. It was like a vibe. And yeah, this is another one of Delaney's favorites. She loves these. So good. And I decided to try these little peanut butter sandwich crackers. Oh, those are, oh my gosh, those remind me of like the Ritz. I know, I know. The days. Do you have anything else you want to highlight actually? Uh, oh, you got these because Brooke got some, right? The oh, baby yeah. bell. Baby bell cheeses. Got the arugula. A good staple. Salad. I always have this mozzarella margarita pizza in the freezer, just as a snack, it's good to have. Definitely. And my all time favorite, everything but the bagel dip. So exciting. There we go. And those are our top Trader Joe's picks. Look at all, <laughs> look at all the food. I think we're stocked for a while. <laughs> we're stocked for the winter, darling. All right, we're gonna put this all away, shower, and uh, make dinner, because this is just tempting. Gotta love a stocked fridge. I mean, that's just exciting. I just showered, Delaney got started on dinner. Wow, well, we love a sizzling moment. Capers and all, chicken piccata goes hard, baby. Oh, and flour? Ah! We're in the mood for a little red wine moment while we eat. The red wine's back there. Watch your socks. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, we got a cab sauce. Let's do cab sauce. Or Pinot Noir is good, I don't know if we have one of those. Oh, timer's we up. We only have cab sauce. Okay, well cab sauce it is. <laughs> 
going to attempt to use this. My friend got this for me. So sweet. Electronic wine opener. All right, I don't wanna mess this up though. So I go down first and then down and then up. <laughs> Close my nose cigar. Oh, this happened last time. Yum, yum, yum. Guys, update. That was so good. I'm literally not well. We'll be making this multiple times again. Yeah, Delaney was like, we can't make it like next week because we can't get tired of this because it's so good. Like, restaurant quality. Great job, Delaney. Really good. I just kind of watched, yeah. but it was. Shout out to my mom's recipe. Yes, yeah, shout out. And the red wine does make it. I, a lot of times Delaney will be like, do you wanna like drink some red wine while we cook? And I don't know why, but red wine makes me really sleepy, but it hasn't happened yet. So I'm probably just gonna have this and then switch to kombucha or something. <laughs> but it was so good, it was delicious and wow. Just had to let you guys know. Anyways, we're gonna watch The Bachelor. I need to focus and zone in and maybe I'll update you guys after The Bachelor or maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow. Who knows, we'll find out. Cheers. Cheers. Hey guys, finished Bachelor. It was a pretty, pretty good episode. Um, there wasn't anything groundbreaking, I feel like, that happened. Well, I guess the new girls came, but anyways, I don't know what's come over me, but I completely, this happened to me last Monday night, also after The Bachelor. I did not realize I had this discussion post due, so I'm doing that right now. So I need to get on it. Thought I was on it, and I wasn't. Okay, I guess you guys I am really ashamed of myself right now I really wanted to go to class in person today but when it's your time of the month sometimes it really backtracks you I went I went to class I just couldn't but I'm gonna go to my next class in person so good morning I just woke up today's quote on my doing well daily honestly it just really made my morning because this is one of my favorite favorite quotes and I could really use that this morning. So, I'm gonna start filling this out. I stayed up far too late last night watching, ran, what did I watch? Sex and City, the movie, a, an episode of The Imposters. I journaled, I watched TikTok. I was just up for too late for no reason. But it's a beautiful sunny day outside. I literally just heard birds chirping. And whenever the birds chirp, it like puts me in a good mood. So, I'm doing my journal right now. And I'm hoping this coffee kicks in and I have another class. I just got off my creativity class There's another I have another class at 1245, which is fashion product and brand management and I love this professor I literally love her so much and I like going to this class So I'm gonna go in person to this one, but I have a little bit until then which is good if anyone's curious, I'm currently working on my walking class assignment. We have to post a screenshot of like our workout summary from the walk or whatever we did. And then a selfie with the watch to prove that it was like us. So this is me post-walk. That's actually so rough. Thought you guys would get a cackle out of this. All right, guys. Just had a bagel and changed, washed my face, all the things to head to class. I decided I am going to attempt to walk all the way to class. And you guys were like, okay, this class is like on the other side of campus and I can walk, I can totally walk, but I usually like walk halfway and then take the bus cause there's like so many hills. But this, the mixture of an Apple watch and this walking class is really inspiring me. And it's really, really good for you. And you guys might be wondering about my outfit. It's 70 degrees outside. Don't ask me why. I was bundled up yesterday. Apparently there were some tornadoes in like Metro Atlanta area and like that has to do with this. I don't know, that's what Delaney was telling me. I don't really, we never had tornadoes in Florida so I don't really know. Anyways, my outfit's from All Lululemon. Sneakers are from Nike. And then I just put my hair up because I think I actually might sweat. I am bringing a jacket because I feel like I, once I get to class, I might get a little cold. I've got my backpack here. It's from Dagny Dover. I love it. And then I have these initials that I put on it that you can buy separately from there. I've got my planner, my water bottle, a jacket, and then my computer. I'm headed to my fashion brand management class. Really excited. Oh my gosh, the sun really is coming out, which is exciting. So, and if I have time, I might stop at the Tate Starbucks halfway and get a nice coffee. It's like actually really sunny. Here for it.
too. Just used Apple Pay for the first time on my watch to get these paper towels and that was the coolest thing ever. It's the little things. Hi everybody, back from class. Funny anecdote for you. Sat down in class, was really proud of myself, got there a little early, go to pull my computer. I must have left it in my room. It was simply not in my backpack, so I like really went to town on my planner and just like really went in depth and like took notes where I could like in corners and that was that, that was really funny, but you know, you learn to be more in the moment when you're just like sitting there. It's two o'clock now, we have a packed rest of the day. Going to make lunch right now, which don't necessarily know what that's going to be yet. We're gonna make lunch, and then after that, I'm going to shower and do my makeup, and I'm taking a picture for Instagram, and then I'm gonna film a video because I've been wanting to film this video for a while, like just like how I'm feeling about graduating. Like I was having this feeling when I was like packing to come back to school, like how I just like really don't wanna grow up and how I like kind of regret how I was freshman year of college. I mean, you can't always regret things, but like, like I wish I was more in the moment because it goes by so fast. And so I wanna just like talk about that and just sit down. So I'm gonna film that video. I'm really excited about that. I'll already be up by the time you guys are seeing this. And then I have a call at 5.30 and then we're recording. Gals in the go, I can finally tell you guys, we're recording a podcast with a guest that like probably our biggest guest yet. Definitely our biggest guest yet. We're really excited. We're having Ellie Zeiler on um, and I'm so excited. So that's gonna be really, really fun. I'm excited to talk to her about you know, so many different things. Like, you know, she's in high school and she blew up on TikTok and she still has really strong plans to go to college. So I think that's really cool. We want to talk to her about like how she handles hate and bullying. And I think it's gonna be a really fun podcast. So you guys should definitely tune into Gals on the Go podcast. That'll also already be up by the time you guys are listening or watching this. And then Delaney and I are gonna make dinner. And that's that on that. So that's the layout for the day. You guys said you liked these. Um, I'm going to submit this walk I just did. And yeah, go dogs, sick and move. All right, Delaney's in class, so I need to be a little quiet, but I forgot to film because I was on the phone with my brother, but I just had some Trader Joe's bean and rice burritos. They're just so good. And now I'm gonna take a ginger shot. Cheers. It's straight ginger, it's called ginger gold. I actually have seen this at a lot of grocery stores like Publix, Kroger, at least in the south. I don't know if Arden's Garden is nationwide or just in certain locations, whatever, but you can buy them at grocery stores, but I bought it at Arden's Garden here in downtown Athens. But yeah, ginger shot a day with you. Hi everybody, so I'm ready. <laughs> so um, I just did my makeup and hair and put on my jewelry and my outfit, I'll show you guys in a second. But, um, I thought you guys would get a kick out of this. I've been using these dry bar, um, hair rollers. I usually just take the biggest one or I'll take two of the small ones and just do my front pieces. It just helps to give your hair like a blown out effect. Um, I just like my front pieces to be more voluminous and like a little bit more rounded. So I'm just keeping this in until I head out the door because, um, Delaney's running an errand. So I was like, when you leave, can I walk out with you and you snap a pic for me? And she was like, yes. So she's the best for that. I just like to stay on top of my Instagram with posting outfit inspiration for you guys. So make sure to go follow me at Danielle Carolyn. Um, but I will show you guys my outfit right now. I never usually wear midi dresses, but I really liked the way this one fit. It's super flattering, super cute. It's from Revolve from the brand Song of Styles. It's from, it's off of Revolve from the brand Song of Style. I absolutely love it. It's this taupe color. It's ribs warmer and it's better for winter time. This necklace is from Serafina Jewelry on Instagram. And this, both of these are from Cheeky Peach here in Athens. I'm wearing my 60 Stacks earrings. Decided to go off with the makeup here. And I will link the dress below. And then I'm wearing my, um... Windsor Smith sneakers because with the only thing with midi dresses I'm kind of short and I feel like they look better when you're taller so I just wanted to add a little height all right just got back from my walk with Delaney I'm pretty happy with the pictures I got so I don't really edit them anymore I just decrease the highlights and maybe put up the brightness a little bit that's it and then I post them so I'm gonna decide which one to post all right about to film this video I'm excited I literally listened to never grow up by Taylor Swift while I set this all up got my kombucha candles the vibes I'm in a calm mood that's exactly how I wanted to be feeling when I filmed this feeling very reflective today so yeah we're just gonna sit and chat and like I said this video will already have been up by the time you guys see this vlog so 
definitely go check it out. All right, you guys, just finished my video. I talked for literally 40 minutes. So if you guys haven't seen it, you definitely should. I'm really happy with how it came out. Basically, I'm really happy with the things I blurbed out. I think it was just like a nice, I talked about like my college experience all four years, where I'm at now, how I'm feeling, and then how I feel about like moving and what my plans are for that. I just made a third cup of coffee. That is crazy, but I wanna be on my A game. I'm so excited for this podcast. We're recording in 20 minutes. Um, and some packages just came to the door. Oh, that hits different. Wow. All right, the results are in. Um, I got some things from of Amazon. So I, I got this one to wear for more like, you know, more dressy outfits. It's an Apple Watch band and it's gold, which I think is gonna look really, really good, especially with like cuter outfits if I wanna wear it. And then it comes with this, which is like, a lot of you guys said I should get like a protector. Um, so this has a bumper and a little screen thing. I think it's gonna be great because my watch seems a little bit more rose gold, so this is more my vibe. And then I decided to get one of these because a lot of you DM'd me saying I should get one and my dad and brother also have them. It's great, you can charge your phone on this um, Apple Watch on top and then your AirPods underneath. I just feel like that's perfect. I might put it on my nightstand or I could put it on my desk when I'm working and stuff, not sure. And then I got the infamous CB2 candle that my girl Peyton Sartain has been posting so much. And basically there was this cup that she really, really wanted. It was like a wine glass, but it was super expensive. And then she found this candle with this really cool shape. It's like a beautiful cylinder um, from CB2. I'll link it down below if they still have them. I think they are, um, they just got restocked. And basically, so many people, she has a literal Instagram highlight on her page of people purchasing these and burning them, and it also smells amazing. I forget what scent I got, um, but you burn it till it's done, and then wash it and make it a cup. So I'm so excited to drink wine or coffee or whatever out of this. Um, so yeah, I was definitely very influenced by her. And yeah, it smells amazing. Okay guys, update. I'm so happy with how this looks. I'm on FaceTime with Bro. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and we're about to record, but yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, new start. Oh my gosh, you guys, we just finished the recording with Ellie. It went amazing. We talked so long, like longer than we usually talk with other guests because like we just got into such great conversation. Like we really, I learned a lot about her that I didn't know. Like she was like an OG YouTube watcher for years, you know, like watching our friends, Alicia Marie, Miss Remy Ashton, like that's how she grew up. And then she didn't even really use TikTok. She was more of a YouTube gal, She'd like enjoy TikTok, but like she wasn't even like, it just happens organically. And we talked about dealing with negativity and how she dealt with it at such a young age. She's 16, I'm caffeinated, can you tell? But that just went so well and she's so cool. She's just gonna go so far in life and she literally was talking about how she wants to go to college in New York City and she just has like such a good head on her shoulders. So definitely go listen to that episode. It's so great, so excited. Delaney, are you hungry? Yeah, what should we have for dinner tonight? We have tacos, pasta, or broccoli and steak. Tacos. Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. All right, we got the ground turkey with some taco seasoning, warming up the tortillas, got the lettuce and the tomatoes. It's Taco Tuesday. Good morning, you guys. It is a Wednesday, and it's a little bit of a cloudy day. I actually haven't opened the blinds yet. Oh, it's not that bad. I'm so excited to finally light the candle. Yay! I'm excited. <laughs> Literally just showered and put my pajamas back on because I couldn't decide what to wear yet. <laughs> so here we are. Really proud of myself. <laughs> it's not the first time I've done this, but I made a bagel sandwich and I'm just so excited. Today's quote, be the girl who went for it. All right, let's get after it. You guys, this thing is amazing. I'll link it below. It's charging my AirPods, my watch, and my phone all at the same time. I mean, that's just... Handy. All right, just got dressed for the day. Um, basically just doing homework, recording for Gretchen's podcast at 4.30. I'm really, really excited to be on her podcast. Um, and yeah, I guess that's really it. So, but I like to get dressed because it makes me feel a little bit better and I'm still wearing sweatpants, so that's okay. Um, this bodysuit from Revolve, I love it. It's like this ribbed black long sleeve bodysuit. Um, it's perfect, it's um, like 60 degrees out right now. And then my sweatpants, these are like my favorite ever. They're from Princess Polly. Sneakers, Air Force Ones. And then I just put my hair in a ponytail, but I like slicked it all back, which I don't always do. So 
Skin's not great today, but that's okay. So yeah, this is the fit for the day. Just been doing some homework. I feel like I'm always doing homework, but I just came up with a grand idea. It's really not that amazing, but I'm really excited about it. I was, I hate making lunch. I hate it, I don't like it. I find like, obviously I wanna eat it because I'm hungry, but I just don't wanna like cook a full meal for lunch. It just, it's just a lot. You already cook breakfast and dinner. So, breaded chicken tenderloin breast. And I also have lettuce. <laughs> I'm gonna be groundbreaking. <laughs> and heat up some chicken breast and like break it all up and put it all in the lettuce and call it a salad. I'm really. That is so lame. <laughs> This is the finished, amazing, creative meal. I don't know why I'm so excited, like a little salty and then like a little cold, fresh. Delaney delivery! Yay! I just had lunch, it was very good. <laughs> Judge me, I'm gonna pop open a Trader Joe's sparkling lime water and I'm about to record with Gretchen, but I just realized I didn't go through my to-do list today with you guys and I've been really into doing that, so, um, I have a quiz I need to take by midnight tonight, so I'll be doing that after this. I also have a reading circle due, and each person in my group has a different role. Someone does an illustration based off of it, someone does um, like build the bridge. I think I talked about this in last week's vlog, so I won't get too much into it, but I'm the discussion leader this week. Earlier, I was uploading all of my other walking stats and stuff onto my document so I can send it to my walking professor because I think I'm already done. I think I might go for one more walk. Like, I don't know. It's fun now. I have to take a quiz for my walking class. Who knows what that's on. And um, I don't think you have to study for it. And then I have to do a creative journal for my creativity class, which is just a different assignment each week. And she wants us to get a paper journal and just keep it all. But I also would rather do it digitally because I have terrible handwriting. Um, and then I also need to do my laundry. I need to take out all the trash in my room. And yeah. So not too much on the to-do list school wise, but a couple of those things are gonna take a minute So yeah, um, I don't know my classes. We always just have like a lot of homework Delaney's Never has homework. She always has more like project-based stuff, which we do also project-based stuff But it's like every two weeks, which I like I like being collaborative It's a little harder when it's like mainly through you know online and stuff like coordinating with my group, but not complaining. So yeah, I'm about to get ready to record for Happy Hour Podcast with Gretchen. I'm really excited. I don't know if this episode with her is gonna be up or not, but you guys should totally go check it out. I love her. I always love talking to her. It puts me in the best mood. I'm here with Gretchen. The collab you didn't know you needed. <laughs> I love it. All right, you guys, it's literally two hours later. Um, Gretchen and I just got off. We'd like caught up for the first like 40 minutes and then, um, we recorded for so long because her and I could talk for hours. We are so similar. Like, I love her so much. She just texted me. Hi guys. So I've been in front of my desk for what seems like hours. Actually, it has been hours. So I've come out here. We're about to start making dinner. Delaney boiled the water. That's literally our friendship at this point. It's like, who's boiling the water? Who's getting it started? <laughs> um, so I think we're doing rice, broccoli, and steak tonight. Yes. Or we have greens. Oh. I'm trying to do this thing where I get everything done on Wednesday nights and most things are due tonight So it's like kind of not a uh, choice either So I'm gonna prioritize things right now and get started and like help make dinner as we're doing this so Yeah, I'm like In a weird mood right now. I'm like Woo! Tonight's dinner teriyaki steak rice and green beans, baby playing some jazz music having a little vino It's a good time all right, a little update. We had dinner. I changed into a tank top. This is from Vivacious Fashion. I just took my quiz. I got a 90. Woo! <laughs> um, so that yeah, was good. And so my priority number one that I wrote down is done. I didn't get as much done earlier because I ended up recording with Gretchen, obviously, and we talked for longer than we both expected, but it's totally okay. We're playing Frank Sinatra. The vibes are good. Next up, we're gonna do my reading circle assignment, and we are blurry. I know today's vlog is actually just a mess, but whatever. But I was just getting so overwhelmed with school right now because I like, I don't know. I, I always, I was saying this in last week's vlog, but I always have trouble at first getting my footing on all my classes. Like what the routine is like, what's due when? And I'm taking 16 credits this semester. 
and for me that's like a lot to balance and i was just like getting so stressed just now and then i was like let me take a second get up change scenery and remind myself how grateful i am to have homework to have this education and literally after this coming may i won't theoretically ever have to worry about homework ever again so i'm really trying anytime i get stressed to just really appreciate that and be like you know danielle you're gonna miss having homework one day so and i know i'm going to because that's just who i am i'm gonna miss having too much to do so but with that being said i'm gonna put the camera away tonight and just focus on getting this done because it's due at midnight tonight and i just like cannot focus i'm like oh i have to update the vlog i feel like i just need to zone in and do this so i will see you guys tomorrow morning love you guys just thought i'd update you guys i just finished all my work for the night i drawing a bath got candles going drinking kombucha i think that's gonna help hey guys it's thursday and it's a beautiful sunny day however my clock says it's 43 degrees outside so it's probably a little cold i just got off my creativity and the design process class i'm just feeling so much better i took a bath last night i watched perks of being a wallflower i didn't even finish it i fell asleep and i woke up just it's so crazy how just having a new day creates a new slate and a new mindset and i just feel so much better so finished class that's actually my only one for the day um based off of like the schedules that we have so that's awesome i'm gonna go make some coffee do my doing little daily journal and uh, make some breakfast i'm feeling a yogurt parfait and then i'm gonna go for a walk get my last few steps in. all right the grand reveal today's quote is big ideas of small beginnings true that i'm gonna get to it all right it's time for the yogurt parfait look at that beauty i added some chia seeds on top too we love it Guys, I am so pumped. Stumptown Coffee sent me some more coffee because I really loved that one that I tried in my last week of my life vlog. So these are the, they're made with Oatly Oat Milk, which is exciting. Cold brew coffee. So I think you just add ice and it's perfect. So I'm really, really excited to try these. We have original horchata and chocolate. Yum. And this tote bag is honestly so cute. This mug is adorable. Delaney looked at me like, oh my gosh, okay, that means you have to get rid of one. And then these are coffee beans, which we don't have a coffee maker here. So I'm going to give these to Ryan, actually, because he uses coffee maker. Hi, guys. So just finished my little morning routine. And now Delaney and I are headed for a class walk, a little, a little power walk and work. I think we just have a little bit more time that we need to get in for our walking class. So we're going to walk on campus. And then if we see, like, a nice area that we can sit and get some work done, we're going to so yeah i'm gonna bring my backpack this is my little outfit i don't love this jacket with it but i think it's a little bit chillier than i'm expecting so i'm bringing this in case sweatshirts from mayfair group hat urban outfitters jacket is from hollister i just don't like how this is cropped and this is not oh caitlin's calling me um leggings lululemon shoes nike let's go for a walk all right you guys we be walking we be power walking did you start your workout yeah Excellent. Here we go. It's nice and sunny at least. At least. <laughs> Love it. Found a nice spot outside. We have a view of the football stadium. Pretty cool. You guys cannot see that. View of the football stadium. All right. Walking back. Oh, I have to start my workout. We got a lot of work done. I'm really happy. Yay. I am back now and it's finally time to do some laundry. Oh, I literally haven't done laundry since I've been home or been back. So Yep. Well, my friends, the day has taken a turn. Um, we came back because Delaney had a Zoom class she had to get on, and I had a lash appointment at 2.30. I get a lash lift in 10. I'm so excited. So I was about to head out the door, and she just let me know that basically she has to reschedule, which is so funny because I was, like, so overwhelmed yesterday, as you guys know, and I was like, okay, today I'm going to cancel spin so I can, like, get more done since I have that lash appointment. Now I don't have spin or that lash appointment, so I think this is the universe telling me to, like chill so now i just have the rest of the evening to do whatever i want i am interviewing for um strike magazine the magazine i'm part of they're interviewing me for their blog though like a different part of it that i'm not involved in um and that's at five it's just like a phone interview so other than that though we're chilling i can get some more homework done maybe start editing this video i think ryan's gonna come stop and say hi and hang out for a little bit and yeah Hi guys, I'm sorry there has been so much that has happened since I vlogged but I had my camera on the charger and every time I went to grab it I was like in a rush and 
the battery was in the charger. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'll update you. It is now 6.06. .06. And after I got off with you guys, I took a shower. I blow dried my hair. Um, so it's still looking oily. What the heck? I just showered. And then Ryan came over and I wanted to vlog him. He was here, I swear. And we watched um, an episode and a half of The Wilds. We totally would have been done with it by now, but we're literally trying to only watch an episode every time we watch it together because we don't want it to finish. Like, it's so good. Like, if you guys have not watched The Wilds on Amazon yet, go watch it. I know a lot of you guys said that you started it after I recommended it and fell in love. And a lot of you have finished it before us already, so it's kind of funny, but it is so good and it is getting wild and now i just put my clothes in the dryer popped open a trader joe's sparkling water my barefoot dreams blanket on it's the comfiest thing ever and i just did the inner oh i also did the interview <laughs> i also did that it was only like 10 minutes it wasn't crazy long one of my assignments just opened like she literally didn't open it till just now and it's due on saturday so i'm kind of like i wasn't open earlier in the week but it's okay it's okay so I'm gonna do that now, get that over with. Is someone calling me? I don't understand all these notifications sometimes. The candle is still going, getting closer and closer to it being my cup. <laughs> it's a little bit later now and I just started editing this vlog and it's over an hour of footage. <laughs> what the heck? So I'm gonna end this vlog here and I'm gonna start it again tomorrow and do a weekend in my life, I think, because I think we're gonna go on a hike this weekend. Anyways, can't wait to do that. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I just want to say thank you guys again for the amazing positive response. I've just been trying to be super unfiltered and just like, this is me. This is real. Or this is real. This is me. Um, and it sounds like it's really translating to you guys. So I'm really, really happy about that. But I love you guys. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe down below. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday for my next video. Bye-bye.